Hello guys. So I was trying to install a Windows 11 on a laptop and during the installation I encountered this error message. A media driver on your computer needs or is missing. Your computer needs is missing. So on, a, on another PC I went into uh, the Google search and then I typed the interrupted storage technology for Windows 11. This, that's actually the, the drivers that you're going to need to um, resolve that issue or to get past that error message while installing your Windows 10 or your Windows 11. So I went, I selected the interrupted storage, storage technology for Windows and then I'll go ahead and then download these um, two um, zipped files downloaded the first one I'll go ahead and then download the second one as well click on the accept and then they should be done downloading by now because they are very small zipped files I'll click on the open containing folder and then in the extract folder that's a folder I created I'll um, create another folder inside that one and name it drivers. I'll copy the zipped files or I copy the zipped files into the drivers folder and then I'll go ahead and then extract those two files right there in the drivers folder. Well, once those are extracted I'll go ahead and delete it, delete them by um, pressing the shift and then the delete keys on the keyboard to delete the zipped files just remaining the the, the, the extracted files I will insect or I will attach a USB uh, another USB drive onto this PC and then copy the drivers um, folder with the zip with the unzipped files with the unzipped uh, drivers copy them onto that USB drive and then I'll take this USB drive onto the machine that I want to do the installation or I want to perform the installation on the Windows 11 installation on. I'll reject it and then take it to that PC. So on the PC I want to install the Windows 11 there should be two uh, or there should be two USBs attached to, to it. One, one contains the Windows 11 installation media files and then the other contains the drivers that we just um, downloaded. So I'll press on the hotkey to get into the boots menu. I'll select the USB drive that contains the installation media files to boot into the USB to start the installation. So once the installation begins, you will be greeted with this page uh, where you select your language, your time, and then the keyboard layout. I'll press the next button to continue. I'll press the install now, or I will tap on it. And then the next thing should be the error message popping up. So from here, I will tap on the browse option, and then I will select or I will expand the, the C, which is the USB drive that contains the drivers. I will select the drivers folder and then open it to view the, the driver. So over here, it's selected one of the drivers, but in case um, this one doesn't work for you, um, you, you can uncheck the high drivers that aren't compatible with this computer's hardware. And then you can go through the rest of the drivers listed on there and, and I'm very certain that um, one of them will work for you to get rid or to get past the error message and then to continue your installation. So yes, the driver worked and then I was greeted with this page. I was accept the Microsoft software license terms. I'll click on the custom and then yes guys, so the installation is proceeding just as it is supposed to proceed or just as it's supposed to be 
So yes, that's a quick way of getting around that error message. So guys, please do well to subscribe to my channel, click on the like button if you if this was helpful to you. And then please share this video to help somebody else, somebody else out there. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you in another video. Bye.